Hey, what's going on guys? Garden Shed here, and welcome! So, unfortunately I didn't manage to get my camera on in time to watch the dog chase all the birds. There's a fair few of them here. Ah, it's a lovely day! Days like this, oh, I've missed riding my bike so much, and trying to get as many miles as I can, can do in. Anyway, so today, I wanted to talk to you guys about my favourite YouTube channel. I watch a ridiculous amount of YouTube. Favourite channels are all motorbiking related, or at least my top five are motorbiking related. So, my top five favourite channels. Number five, and I know he's actually a sub subscribed to me, is Hippo Drones. I absolutely love his videos. Um, he does all sorts of different things, but the reason, as well as being, sounding like a really nice guy, the uh, reason he makes my top five is he does something that a lot of most bloggers don't do. He does history vlogs, and I really, really like those history vlogs. So he'll wander around castles, or um, most recently he's doing the Portsmouth Historic Dockyards. Um, and he did a fantastic little video on uh, the mods and rockers, which was full of so much emotion, and I think it's one of my favourite videos of all time on YouTube. It's absolutely brilliant. So, if you have a chance, go and check him out. And he has an array of different bikes as well, which is quite nice. It's not just one person riding the same bike. Um, I believe he currently has a Triumph Street Triple, a Motor Guzzi V7 that's all customised and chopped down and oh, I love the sound of it. I could watch his videos just for the sound of that Motor Guzzi. I'd love one. Um, and then he also has a KTM 390. So yeah, he does fantastic history videos. Uh, he does trips, trips out to say, Cheddar Gorge and things like that. And he goes all over the place, which I absolutely love with his videos. So yeah, number five is Hippodrones. Coming in at number four is one of my longest subscriptions. One of the first motor vloggers that I ever met. He organised the first ride out I ever went on, which was Phil 480. Quite a few people know Phil 480. He is based down in Portsmouth. I don't actually know how many subscribers he's got. But I like his content, he does really good honest reviews. And he's short like me, although a little bit shorter, so I can make high jokes. Um, which is great for his reviews and things like that. I actually find them really useful uh, when looking at bikes and things like that. And it's quite impressive to see what he can ride. Uh, but Phil's for a number of reasons. Phil organises quite a few different ride outs throughout the year. He normally has a couple of chip shop rides. I believe he organises the Svengali ride each year, which is the memorial ride for a motor vlogger who sadly died. As well as, you know, the normal trips away and product reviews and bike reviews. Uh, again, has two very lovely bikes. He has a Triumph Scrambler and a Kawasaki, I want to say it's a GPZ500. Please don't shoot me if I'm wrong. Well, I know it's called Raven, I know it's GPZ. Yeah, again, just really good, really interesting videos with lots of emotion, and you never really know what's going to come out of his channel. So I really do recommend you go and see Phil 480. So at number three on my list of favourite YouTube channels, it is Smo. Now, Smo is one of the first channels that I came across. I think Spicy Smo and Phil 480 were some of the, my first subscriptions. Um, although Smo doesn't make as many videos as he used to, due to commitments and things like that, I always find his videos really entertaining. Um, I will warn you, it is for the reason he makes the list is he seems to get away with so much. He has a very similar sense of humour to me, which is completely warped and sick. 
but somehow he manages to get away with it. Whereas I don't dare, I mean half the things that make me laugh, I would never broadcast on this channel because I don't think I have the personality to be able to pull it off. But he does, and it makes for really, really interesting videos. I mean, God knows how many times he's been reported. He definitely got taken off, banned from YouTube for a while for uh, uploading something to do with a box of crickets, which I didn't actually see, but I've heard about these mythical crickets. So yeah, that didn't go down very well at all. Just his sense of humour and the liveliness behind the video, I think it's been really good. As I say, he doesn't make as many videos nowadays as he did you know, to, well, even a year ago. He quit his job to try and see if he could make motor vlogging. Wait, well, I think he lost his job to see if motor vlogging could uh, sustain him. But unfortunately, his channel was too small. and then, So he went back to work in the games industry. Um, yeah, I just think he's a really, really interesting person. I love his videos. They're always upbeat and jolly and... You never know what comment's going to come out of his mouth. And I think that is why I don't think I've ever missed a snow video. Number two on my top five favourite YouTube channels is Moto Geo. Uh, Moto Geo is a channel or a person, I don't really, maybe his name's Geo, I don't really know. I can't remember what his name is. He's an Englishman that lives in America. But he goes all around the world making really cinematic videos of sort of bike places he goes to, such as, uh, he's done, I'm trying to think, Colombia, Las Vegas, the Highlands, the Pyrenees, Mexico, I believe. All sorts, there's so many different videos for so many different countries. And just the way they're shot and the way they're filmed they make you want to go and explore and that for me is the essence of biking is just the freedom of it all um, and yeah I mean he does bike reviews but he's always riding different bikes in different countries he's not always on his same bike um, but his views the cinema photography to them just I think they're absolutely unbelievable I've never seen a video of his that I didn't like um, so whether it's taking part in a little bit of off-road racing on a Royal Enfield out in France or going over the Pyrenees or, you know, as I said, riding a Vistrom in Colombia, he did uh, the Thailand or Vietnam recently. Um, just so many amazing videos. And they really want to make you get out and inspire you to ride. But also, as well as that, he shows, he always lists places that he'd stayed, places that he eats, and he always eats local cuisine and things like that. Um, so f combining food and motorbikes for me is just the best. Um, I absolutely love his videos. And I mean, one of my favorite ones, it wasn't even somewhere overly exotic, he just went for a ride. He was spending a day with his son, so he bought the missus a spa day, took his little son off. Um, on the back of a bike, strapped him to him so he can fall off or shouldn't fall off and uh, went out in the canyons but it was just really interesting it was just, you know, never as just a day bimbling around on a bike been so entertaining and so inspiring and just made you want to go out and ride it was absolutely brilliant so yeah, number two is Moto Geo I found doing this list actually quite difficult because there are so many channels I could have easily done the top ten I found it really difficult to uh, narrow it down. Number one on my list of favourite channels is a man who is, comes across as being incredibly humble and incredibly nice. And from all accounts is, he's ridden around the world on a GSX. R1000, which is possibly one of the least appropriate bikes to do around the world trip on, but he did it. It is Teapot One. I love his videos. He's such an interesting character, funny, really nice guy, 
his, his videos are always interesting. Again, traveling, so he's got all his round the world videos. Um, he goes to Morocco quite a bit with a tour company called Tour Adventure. I think he has something to do with them. He runs, along with another person, a tour company called Chicken Strips. So they go to the Pyrenees, um, Italy, all sorts of places. Um, where else has he been to? Picos. I really want to go to Picos because of his videos. So they do tours all around there, and of course his videos are tour. Um, he just does mad videos. Not in the sense of like wheelies and burnouts and stupid speeds, but things like he did the uh, Iron Butt 1000, raising money for the British Legion. He rode round the UK in was it four or five days, um, something like that. He's just his videos are brilliant. I absolutely love them. Um, and as I say, he's a really nice guy, so I would thoroughly recommend that you go and see Teapot One's videos. I hope you enjoyed my top five. Um, I will put links to all the different channels down in the description. So you can go and check them out yourselves. But I would highly advise that you go and see some of them. There are there is some truly brilliant content coming out. Yes, they are all motorbike related, but I love most biking related videos. But th yeah, there's just some really, really nice good content there for you guys to watch. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you ever so much for watching and take care.